Visualizing reverberation and reflections. Now that we've taken a look at the basic principles of reverberation, we can explore how suspended objects can effectively control unwanted noise. Sound waves move through the air as pressure waves. We can hear them, but as they are invisible, it can make them tricky to play around with and demonstrate. Enter the ping pong balls. Spherical particles of any size do a great job at helping us visualize wave energy. And now we'll run through demonstrations that will bring most of the principles of reverberation to life. For our first demonstration, we will use a single ping pong ball to observe simple reflections. This ball is bouncing off a hard surface, like concrete. As we can observe, most of the energy of the ball is reflected back into the ball, and it leaves the surface with almost as much energy as it started with. Of course, gravity won't affect sound waves, but it gives us a good example of just how long the ball will retain its energy if it's constantly hitting a hard surface. Similarly so, sound waves bouncing between hard surfaces will keep reflecting around a room for a long time until their energy is diffused and absorbed. Now, the same ball is being dropped onto a softer surface. This surface is absorbing energy from the ball and dispensing that energy within itself. The ball bounces away with only a fraction of the energy it had before and comes to rest quickly. In this case, less energy is being returned to the room. Similarly so, acoustic structures and materials are designed to absorb energy and return a controlled amount back to the room. In the following demonstration, we take it up a notch and use hundreds of balls and a specialised surface with vertical fins. All the balls that are bouncing upwards are showing energy that would be returned to the room. But notice that the balls impacting and being trapped by the baffles are losing energy and being cancelled altogether by the increased friction they are encountering. We can deepen or space out these fins to capture specific unwanted frequencies of sound, just as this experiment shows balls trapped within our fin surfaces. Now we can make our absorption a little more interesting. Here we can see sound energy coming from two directions. In reality, sound comes from all directions within a space. Now we introduce an acoustic structure like a suspended lattice object that is engineered to trap energy from all directions. It is effectively trapping energy that is travelling in many directions. To get a clearer understanding of how this works in a real-world application, we need to flip this upside down. Notice how much energy has been absorbed and trapped. It's clearer from this view to understand how trapping sound energy can work. All this energy would have been returned to the room, but has been successfully trapped and absorbed by this structure. Staying in our upside down world, we go back to the first example of just how efficient the addition of suspended baffles like Frontier can be. It's easier to see how the placement of these structures not only reduces reverberation, but can help control the flow of noise throughout a space. We can calculate the amount and type of absorption required to control unwanted frequencies, leaving a clear and comfortable audio environment.